Okay, house battery improvements. So this is the same box I was using, but I went to a lithium ion battery instead of the deep cycle. Uh, and I went with Renogy um, DC DC converter. So yes, I'm gonna clean up this wiring a bit, but it's pretty close. So I have wiring coming from the main battery, engine compartment alternator, that kind of thing, fused on both ends. And all the lights are on except for the house battery, which I mean the, the car battery, which is not hooked up yet, but the solar is working. And 13.4, 13.3. Everything's going well. I'm gonna yeah, clean up, zip tie, cover that wiring a bit more, but it's pretty close, pretty close. Just gotta tidy up. And then look at that. Jeez. And then I gotta do finish cleaning up the wiring under here and make that all neat. And protect where it goes through the firewall and but that's on hold for a minute because I'm repainting my battery hold down because it had some rust and corrosion on it so I stripped it and repainting that so decided to go with an upgrade upgrade my uh, my house battery some because before I had 100 watts of solar and 100 amp hour uh, deep cycle battery and that was working fairly well but on really hot days which happens a lot here in california and in the west um, with the refrigerator running and that kind of thing and you kind of want to park in the shade and all that so it, it would tax the system quite a bit so after about three days it would be yeah tough so i went with the dc dc converter so it'll charge from the alternator while i'm driving and then charge from the solar when i'm parked so, and I did not go, talks about Red Arc, and that kind of thing, that's fine, and it's great. As far as I know, I've never used it, but it's great. However, I'm not driving on top of a mountain in the Andes or through the outback in Australia or something like that. So the Renogy suited my purposes, saved me a little bit of money, and that kind of thing afforded me more money to go with the lithium ion battery too, so... And I got a package deal that was just too good to pass up, honestly. There was some kind of sale happening, so i um, super excited about it. Yeah, and I don't, you know, I'm mostly in the United States, so I don't really need, um, you know, stuff designed for third world, third world countries all the time. And it's a huge improvement over what I had, so we're going to be testing it out a bunch this summer. So, wrapping up things in the Forerunner. A few more videos to come. I know I've been slow, guys. I'm sorry. No, I've been slow. More is coming though. So, just a few more things. Some of the footage was no good, so some of the videos I made are not going to be uploaded. It was just, ugh, I was not happy with it. But ask questions away on all these, all these um, refurbishment um, videos, things like that, and I'll try to answer them or make a video to help you out. Whatever. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.